Hello guys, welcome back to another video here on the driver page. We're doing a big block modified setup for Kenyon County custom setup. So uh, let's run some hot laps. <laughs> So guys, you can see you can run 12 8s, 12 7s, 12 6s. <clears throat> you just have to get really used and where you turn into the corner at with the with the line with this car. Uh, if you get too high, you're gonna run off the edge. If you get too low, it'll scrub off too much time. So you have to kind of be more or less really high on the track to hit the goal time with this. But um, as you can see, we can hit the goal time. It, it's pretty easy. Just as long as you run the right line, it's pretty easy to get down into the uh, low 12 sixes with this setup. So uh, anyways, let's look at the setup. Uh, camber angle on the left front. I got a 2.8, 360 on the spring rate. The shock bumps a 3.0. The shock rebounds a 3.0. Tire pressure 750 on the left front. On the right front, negative 2.8 degree camber. Uh, spring rate is 290. Shock bump is a 3.0. Shock rebounds 3.0. Tire pressure is a 7. Uh, of course, like always on my weights i've got them maxed out left side and rear weight right height's at zero wheel lock is always at 30 degrees uh, rear end ratio is at 530 uh, chassis j bar height is 18 axle j bar height is a 1250 now i've messed around with the j bar height on the frame and on the axle and this is the optimum setup i've found so far if you go up too high on your frame it gets too loose in the center if you go <clears throat> too low on your J-bar, it gets too tight in the center. It's There's a fine line there, and this is about the best that I've found it. Now, you might be able to play around it with some more and get this a little different than I did, but that's where I'm at. Uh, rear weight, 57.5. Uh, again, I was down at 53%, um, and it's too loose. Um, I went up to 60%, and it... it it would be good for a minute, but it always would want to start breaking loose from center out. It would want to, like it would lose traction, I guess you could say. So, uh, I dropped it down to 57.5. I actually dropped it down to 55. It wasn't enough. went up to 57.5, but that's where I ended up at. Uh, where it don't break traction in the center as you're rolling the throttle back to full throttle. Um, spring rate on the right rear is a 250. Shock bumps of 3.5 shock rebounds of 4.0 tire pressure is 850 tire stagger is zero on the left rear 220 uh on the spring rate shock bump is a 3.0 shock rebounds a 4.0 tire pressure is a 750 7.5 all right guys that's the setup uh i hope this has helped you out if it has leave me a comment let me know with that being said we're going to go on and work on some more tracks and uh, do some more races guys